identity at the, the um, level of the network was provided with um, um, protocol as uh, LDAP LIDAR directory protocol. Very used for a long time period and uh, very present in um, many networks. Uh, after cloud uh, was issued, uh, a peer directory as a service. All these services are federated in uh, single services, Active Directory as a service, and provided identity services for all the people enrolled in uh, cloud services. Example, University of Bucharest, uh, all students and teachers are loaded in Azure Active Directory uh, service. A, a history uh, flow can identify three main moments in evolution of uh, identity management. First of all, it's the level of consistent and uh, network. Second, is uh, federated identity at the level of cloud component global. And third is uh, uh, decentralized federated system at the level of the user in web 3.0 and the name self sovereign identity. It's uh, uh, it's a reoriented of identity yes. from company and from machine to the people because we have a endpoint in this moment of uh, identity to person to individual this identity can be managed at the level global in all computer systems and uh, all um, application in the world history is not very long um, in um, three people uh, doc Searle and um, kalia hamlin um, in 2005 uh, in uh, mountain view at the uh, computer history museum organized a workshop focused on problems of identity in context of decentralized, um, decentralized, too early to say decentralized, but to change the orientation of uh, identity from machine to people. Um, but uh, in uh, that moment issue, uh, issued a um, problem. Problems synthesized by Zook's triangle. Then um, the problem is to realize that all three points of triangle, Zook's triangle, cannot be realized at the level of identity one of identity systems. This means human meaningful, decentralized and secure. The nearest implementation of triangle is uh, realized with Filecoin, Filecoin a fork of Bitcoin. We talk about uh, 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 decentralized domain name space at the level of decentralized system. And uh, in this moment, self-sovereign identity became a reality of management identity of the moment. Identity was moved 
from machine to people. Um, what does it mean? Ford company in UK, uh, the, exp uh, the um, expenses for management of identity in classical uh, form means 3.3 billion with implementation of uh, self-sovereign system we uh, arrive to 150 million it's a huge step from uh, identity or oriented to machine from uh, identity oriented to people three pillars uh, sustain the self-sovereign identity um, security control and portability uh, control it switch from uh, central authority to uh, every people in which is involved in the system portability means the supplier of the identity can be moved at uh, the level of the user is not need approval or uh, some technical uh, decision from a uh, central authority the system became user centric and uh, practical we realized a switch of uh, identity from um, from level of central federated system to a system based on blockchain will became the layer of identity of the internet um now we can discuss about uh, I, uh, internet for identity because the layer provided by self sovereign identity will allow us to implement a layer of identity to internet and modify the first opinion regarding uh, internet with our uh, identity layer core concept of self sovereign identity first of all it we talk about a decentralized identity um second identity must, must attest it by by um authority of um authority more to say authority it's uh it's necessary a proof of identity without uh, involved personal information in this uh, in this process because uh, first of all in um, in proof of identity are uh, information provided by user about him it's a uh, huge pressure for um, authority and is too far to be uh, right decision to collect information about the user um, two layers are uh, are very important to be involved in this model in uh, in uh, soul sovereign architecture first it's verifiable credential data model provided uh, by w three uh, ww three 
and decentralized um, process, uh, decentralized uh, identity, which involved existence of three actors, holder, issuer, and verifier. Um, more simply to follow the base level based on verified data registry and decentralize it identifier. On this foundation, work issuer, holder, and verifier, and up all application which involves in management and uh, use uh, this type of identity. A double 3C decentralized specification involves schema, a prefix with which uh, say what type of de de decentralized we use. Uh, perhaps similar with SQL or not SQL for database. Uh, to make difference between a, a decentralized architecture and a classical one as email address or uh, product barcode or app. Meter means the blockchain which will sustain and will store transaction which will uh, do and will sustain the identity procedure we have in more than 100 methods listed on w w3c Unique identifier follow the first two and means an address in a blockchain. Example, Ethereum address is not unique, but uh, as provider can be used in decentralized identity in a self-sovereign system. And DAD document, this means all services linked and used by to prove the identity. Example, uh, decentralized identity in, in uh, blockchain Ethereum with public key in this blockchain. Interesting and uh, is uh, this schema working uh, agnostic chain uh, this agnostic chain uh, allow us to not implement this uh, procedure to a public or a private uh, blockchain we have a some protocols and platforms which uh, implement this uh, all this specification of double W3C. Fractal ID, it's an implementation of, of open authority and uh, aligned to uh, specification as GDPR. And um, uh, know your customer and uh, anti money laundering, uh, practically anti money laundering, it's uh, the um, uh, legislation in EU, in uh, EU regarding blockchain. Um, other protocols can be killed. Excuse me. Okay. This introduction 
was about self-sovereign, but to build an infrastructure on W3 and in Web3, we must look to this offer of services and protocols at the level of implementation. It's very, very difficult to decide a solution in this moment for self sovereign identity. We have a stack similar with um, similar with the ICO uh, model, uh, which start and based on the blockchain. Now, the example uh, uh, is reduced that Bitcoin and Ethereum for public and uh, various one and sovereign uh, for private till the level of application which explore and use all these um, uh, layers. An important aspect in this moment is uh, where storage and what type of storage uh, I, uh, I use for implementation. We talk about decentralized storage and uh, this is a picture of diversity offer in this um, in this topic started from uh, airwave it's uh, distributed storage based on um, uh, proof of access as consensus algorithm it's layer one but we have layer two uh, blockchain based on IPFS interplanetary file system and uh, storage very interesting system based on um, uh, Byzantine fault tolerant uh, consensus and um, uh, work deeply linked with cloud computing and uh, it's uh, solution interested solution uh, to store in uh, uh, in decentralized system in cloud computing uh, uh, system you port we have we have uh, for public blockchain two sole sovereign system first uh, First of all, Uport, it's uh, built on uh, platform blockchain Ethereum and uh, working uh, implement a decentralized identity in uh, Sol Sovereign uh, platform. Second, it's more interesting and more uh, complex platform, Polygon, which it's uh, uh, work with uh, zero knowledge proof as a mechanism of uh, proof at the level of identity and uh, work with level two it's scalable one and uh, uh, implement a system uh, polygon id which uh, which is a decentralized ID at the level of uh, solution. Um, perhaps it's better to add Hyperledger Indie. It's a private one. First, of, uh, first two uh, system are uh, public. Hyperledger Indie. It's a public one, uh, work with redundant Byzantine fault tolerant, and it's an implementation of uh, Hyperledger fabric. It's a self-sovereign layer over Hyperledger fabric. Um, we have a lot of transaction uh, dedicated to manage identity as a level. Um... Okay. Thanks. Well,
There are some um, decisions, yes, yes, many implementation. Um, it's a, a very interesting concept uh, in these days. This concept is uh, central bank digital coin. It's the decision of Fed and uh, international fund uh, to implement a universal coin. And uh, this decision depends on a global system of identity. Global means institution and people. It's very difficult to to talk about a global a, a global coin without a identity system, and the right one is the sovereign one. I don't know what type of sovereign is sovereign based on uh, super ledger Indy or uh, Ethereum with uh, uh, Polygon solution, I cannot mention. But there is a large talk about this implementation at the global level of perhaps impact is uh, a good way to implement a self-sovereign identity. Um, first of all, um, it's um, trying to make from blockchain um, uh, enterprise solution. In this moment, it's necessary to obtain scalability from blockchain, first of all. And, and second, it's a uh, real layer, layer of uh, identity. Perhaps with um, time charting from Ethereum, and uh, we uh, expect uh, some 100,000 transactions per second. And uh, uh, so, so very similar, perhaps, with the solution from Polygon. The blockchain will be a global IT decentralized solution. And step by step, working with cloud computing, because cloud in this moment provides a large storage for blockchain. It perhaps is scale storage for cloud. Storage is an example for me. And uh, it's an interesting future for, uh, for all this, but it's necessary a lot of research and. Uh, an improvement uh, of performance of the blockchain in this moment.